Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. So now we are learning about the groceries list concept, right? So if you try to refresh this page, so now we got the item. So we are able to catch the item. If you try to see here when I am trying to do the value and here click on the item. So we are able to catch the item. Somehow we need to send it to this items list. Okay. So if you try to observe here the hierarchy, so we are at this position add item and we need to send this value to the sibling. So which is in the same level to the items list. Therefore, this item list will be looping over to the each single item and it will display the details. So this is the concept which we need to implement. So how we can send it to the sibling. So we cannot send the item value, right? So now we need to check that what is a common parent for these two things. So nearest common parent for these two things is the app. Okay. So here the nearest common parent for this add item and item list is the app. So now we need to somehow pass the value to the app and this app will pass the value to the items list. So that is how we need to do that. The mechanism what we need to do right now is like that. So now add item will pass the value to the app and app will pass the value to the items list. So now who needs to hold the items value? So the app needs to hold the items value. So here we need to update it here. We need to delete it here. We need to create it here. Anything the app has to do and the values and all those things it will be receiving from the add item or somewhere items it will be receiving and it will send the values to the items list. So that means we need to maintain the value in the app. So here let's go to the app.js file and here I am creating a variable state variable items. Okay, comma set items is equal to use state of array empty array. Okay. So I am keeping it as an array. Now this items value I have created as empty array. Now this add item will send the value. So now here we are trying to lifting the state up. So here up to now what we have seen these items value we can send it to here to the items. So here items is equal to items. So here I can send it like this items. So we are sending it to the items list, the list of all items. Right now it is zero uh, empty array. Now we will go to the items list here. Items list. And here we got the items as a props. Okay. We got the items as a props and here this items list. So this items is the single item is there, right? We need to loop over. So here what I can do, I can go into JavaScript mode and items, sorry, items dot map of each item and here what I can do I will take this single item okay I will take this single item like this and here I will I will remove this one all and I will show so now if you try to see here so first time we are not able to see any value right so but if you are now if you are having a value something like uh, some other value let's say ID of something so we are having some value right sorry one now, if you see, if you see the example for this one, now we are able to see one item. So that means we are one value is there. We are able to see one item. And if you are having another value, then you will be able to see another item. So now the items, according to the items, which we are having the items list also getting updated. But now it's time for us to push the item, whatever the item that has been added here in this add item form to the items list. Okay. We will we'll do it apart. Now here single item is there and this single item. So we, we need to pass each item into the single item, single item. Okay. So that we can, we can uh, show this name quantity and price it here. So here, what I will try to do in the item list here, I will pass the item item is equal to sorry item is equal to item. And here I will catch this one as a props. So item I have catch this one as a props. Now fine. Everything is set to fine. So now we have did something like passing down, but here the problem comes. What you need to learn the new one is the lifting the state up. Why? Because here in the add item, we have added this one. Somehow I need to pass this item to the parent component. That is nothing but app.js. So here what we can do is so here we can write a function, something like function add item. Okay. Add item and you will be getting the item and here what I will do is so set items. Okay. You will get all the items and in this one I will pass 
so i am using the immutability so so that we cannot have effect any effect and i am passing the item that's it so now this is the method so now this this method somehow this method needs to be called in the add item fine are you able to understand this one so stay with me so little bit confusion or tricky it will be there so if you do some couple of projects in this one so then you will be able to understand very easily and here <clears throat> we have a method in app.js file okay here in the component wise we have a method that is nothing but add item in a component in app.js file parent component somehow this parent component need uh, this comp add item needs to call that parent component so what i can do is here the logic is i will pass this function as a prop to this one so add item is equal to add item i am passing this where function now this add item will be caught as a prop here so here where is our function yeah so here i am catching this one as a prop now we can directly call this add item and this request an item right so we can pass this item directly into this one that's it so we have completed very quickly very very easily now if you try to see the value here i am trying to add this one and here i am getting a quantity and here i am doing the price and if i click on this add item see automatically this one got updated and if i try to update this one and here like this and if i do like this click add item see we got this one also has got updated so that means we are able to add the item if you try to see the inspect element in this one in the components gone this components gone i don't know why always this components will be gone let's try to restart the chrome again chrome and i am running this chrome again so sometimes whenever you if you are not able to see so try to restart the chrome then maybe we will be able to see i think i am hoping so here still i am not able to see ah uh, yeah we got the components yeah so now here in this component so item list so if you try to see this items list so items are empty for the first time so app also so it should be items empty here also okay the state is empty now i will add something like milk packet so which is a quantity 2 i wanted so each one costs around 5 dollars so add item so automatically here one state value has been added that is nothing but milk con milk and all those things and we are passing it to the item also right so to the items list also we are passing it i don't know what is this error we got it uh, we are able to show this item or not so let's try to see uh, and we are passing this one items okay it, it needs to have a key unique key okay so i the items also got passed into this one and uh, what we need to do at last so a single item so this in this single item also so the single item value also is getting passed so this is how somehow we are able to add an item and we are able to pass to all the items list so let's try to quickly re, uh, resolve this issue items list here we are solving it right and you can pass the key is equal to the unique value in this item is the id you can use the id directly without any problem that's it now if you try to see the output for this one let's refresh this page okay and here i am adding this one so here 6 and i am doing this 23 and if i click on this add item and now we are not getting any errors in the console also we are not getting any errors they have value the item value is getting created and here also in the components you will be able to see the header item add item and also in the items list you will be able to see the single item right so these are all the items which we are able to see so that's it guys so this is how we will be adding the item now we are able to successfully add the item into the items list and also we are able to send it to the sing send the single item to the single item also so like this we have did it so hopefully major part of the thing is completed so now we need to show we need to work on the items list now so we need to display this item values and all those things and also we will try to implement those all values and we'll try to design the footer also in the next video we'll try to do it so hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions what i will try to do is uh, i will commit this code i will forget all the times if i don't commit means i will forget all the times so that is the reason i am committing in this uh, video itself now what we have did it lifting state up okay lifting state up so this is the code which i want to tell you so lifting the state up is also completed i am publishing this branch okay and now let's go to the github mm we are maybe having doubts or anything so they can go to my github repository url so here this is our react 18 course so we are maybe doubts or anything this code if you want to refer this code means 
you can go to my particular video branch whatever the video you are observing so you can go to that particular branch of that video and you can refer to that code hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you